don't miss out. Okay, they're saying that let's take the genotype of Z. Here, the way how we teach dihybrid cross is not the same way how we ask questions concerning about dihybrid. We don't ask you to explain everything in the dihybrid, no. We only ask you a few questions on the dihybrid. So, uh, please take note of that, that we don't ask you everything on the dihybrid. Okay, now the question is saying that, uh, they are saying that, that Z is this with this. So basically, I'm going to just draw a line, this, you write what's there, and also is this line, what's there. So it means that I'm going to say small f, small f, and then capital H, small h. Yeah. Why didn't I start with the capital H? Because these are two different alleles. Yeah, these alleles, one allele does not interfere the existence of another allele because these are different genes. Yes, Mendel's law of segregation. Eh? Mendel's law of, yes, uh, independent assortment, not segregation. Mendel's law of independent assortment. The, 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 the one allele of one gene does not influence the other allele, meaning that if you have big heads, a big head, that is not connected for you. Why do you have small eyes? So the allele, a gene for the big head, does not influence small eyes or, or the type of eyes you are having. So they are, they are totally different. That's why I didn't start. But if it is the same allele, H and H, then automatically I can say H, capital H. No, I have to start with the capital letter. Yes. Okay, now let's go to our question. Uh, the question is saying that, uh -huh, give the genotype of parents. How do I identify the gene? This is a very challenging question to, 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 to kids. But let me just show you how you can get the genotype of the parent. Because they didn't give you anything here. But look at the gametes. Pick a letter which is not repeated, then write it down. The first one is capital F. Capital F. Make sure that you don't repeat the letter before because there are supposed to be two, 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 two alleles for each character. But first write the letters which are known. Uh, don't repeat the letter before you complete. It's capital H. Capital H, we have talked about. Uh, capital F. Capital F. Ah, small f. So I add the small f. But here is small f again. Uh -huh. So I've already written it. Then I go to H. Capital H, capital H, uh -huh. I've talked about the capital H, small h. Uh. So I've got the genotype because they are supposed to be four. And then when I come here, it's still capital H, capital F. Yes, uh, then small f. And then capital H, capital H, and then yes, small h. So yeah, so it means that both of them they have the same kind of what they have the same kind of uh the same kind of allele they are, they, they are heterozygous for their conditions so all of them they have uh, the same kind of what condition then uh they are saying that um number of genotypes that could result in order uh, in offsprings with short fingers and continuous hairline. Yes, number. Uh, number. So in this case, you are going to say number of genotype that would result in offsprings with short. Uh -huh. Let me underline this. They are saying short, but short. What did they say? Is the short is the capital F is dominant. So I'm gonna look for anywhere I have capital F. Yes, and then they're saying that uh, fingers continuous hairline. Uh -huh. Continuous hairline. You say that is recessive, meaning that if it's recessive, small edge. 
but it it cannot be uh, uh, homo uh, recessive cannot show in, in 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 the genotype unless these two are being x shown they are show, showing so how does it show it's supposed to show by uh, being recessive so because if i have capital h and then small h then automatically this individual is not going to be uh, continuous is gonna be this widow's uh widow's uh what peak so automatically it's supposed to be small letters small letters so i'm going to look for where there is a small letter and also i'm going to look for uh where is the uh where is the what i'm going to look for where is it a capital h so once i get that then automatically i'll be able to identify how many individuals are there <laughs> so i'm gonna say capital f small h uh, this is the first one the first individual mm, this is second individual mm, is there anyone else yeah the third individual is there anyone else no so there are three so the answer is going to be three individuals uh -huh. then they are saying that uh allele for continuous allele is remember it's caused by a recessive allele so they're not saying alleles saying allele they're not saying uh, genotype because if you say this this is the genotype they're saying allele remember it's caused by recessive allele you see this is caused by dominant allele dominant allele the, meaning that these are recessive alleles so please don't write two it's supposed to be one because even they're here they're saying allele phenotype of a child who is homozygous recessive for the same phenotype of the child who is homozygous recessive for both the characteristics ah. is here long finger long finger and continuous continuous uh, hairline hair line so that is it that is it so this is the, a di hybrid cross so if they ask you which type of uh cross is this is a di hybrid cross next question the next question is also about a di hybrid cross di hybrid cross hybrid cross uh, what does it mean what does it mean the hybrid cross I hope you are seeing clearly uh -huh. there is variation uh, in the uh, characteristics yes of fur color and texture in the cat all right uh -huh. i'm seeing and then they are saying that they are saying that the table below shows the allele that control these two characteristics ne? these two characteristics all right uh -huh. what is next uh they're saying that the t uh you have these characteristics the peanut square below shows the inheritance of alleles in the genetic cross all right here is the peanut square name the dominant allele for far color uh here you come where you see capital letter it means the dominant allele so this is b so the answer here is going to be black this is black and then the recessive phenotype for fat texture recessive is gonna be smooth smooth so you see how the hybrid is being set it's not an a, a, it's not a complicated thing it's just a normal thing it's just uh for you to see that you can you can you can you you, you can answer this 
You can answer this. Okay. Uh -huh. So, they are saying that uh, uh, So, uh, we are saying that um, give the genotype of offspring X, X genotype. They are saying genotype. So, if you are saying genotype, then it means that uh, you are going to come here and here. So, it's going to be small b, small b, capital R, capital R. So, that is the genotype for that uh, individual. Yes. Then they are saying that uh, the genotype, the phenotype of female parent is female parent, uh, this male and this female. They are saying the phenotype is capital B, capital R. Capital B, capital B is black and the small r, eh, eh, small b, small b is white and capital R, capital R is rough. So it's going to be white and rough white genotype of of the pair eh? the genotype of the egg is going to be white and rough but i have skipped this the genotype of x yes you have talked about it so that is the answer for that mm, the genotype of parent genotype of parent male now you come here male they want the genotype so how do I identify the genotype? Uh, how do I identify the genotype of this parent? Of this parent male. So uh, I, I can only do, uh, this, do the genotype of this parent male when, 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 when. Sorry. Uh, I can only, as I told you, as I told you that what you do is you come here, say capital B, yes, you you don't repeat it, ne? yes, you don't repeat it, capital B, small b, yes, and then you go capital R, capital B, yes, you don't repeat capital B, but you have a small b here, put a small b, uh, then you capital R, capital R, you look for, you have a small r, so small r. So that is going to be the genotype of that individual. Yes. Uh -huh. Then they are saying that what is the genotype of, uh, uh, of, of, the, of, of the parent male? So you are done with that. State all the possible genotypes. The possible genotypes of, uh, of what? State all the possible genotypes of offsprings of this genetic cross. Of this genetic cross. All possible state the phenotype of all offsprings of this genetic cross have in common. Eh, they're not just saying offsprings. They're saying what they have in common. Okay, come here and see. This is Z. Okay, capital B. Have a capital B. This one has no capital B. You see? Yeah. This one has no. So it can't be capital B. Capital R. Capital R. This one has a capital R. Né? And then also this one has a capital R. So basically, the common, the state, the physical, the, the phenotype of that all the offsprings uh, of this genetic cross have in common. So definitely here I'm going to say, here I'm going to say uh, capital R because we say that uh, all of them, they have capital R, it has capital R, it has capital R, capital R. I come back here and I ask myself, what is capital R? Capital R is a rough. So basically what they have in common is rough. Yes. That is what you can do. That is the, the, the dihybrid cross. So we have seen questions of dihybrid cross. 